Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about the Federal Reserve of America, also known as the Federal. This is a really important institution that plays a big role in our economy, and I'm going to try to explain it in a way that's easy to understand. So, the Federal Reserve is the central bank of the United States. It's responsible for a lot of things that help keep our economy healthy and stable. Some of the most important things it does are Control the money supply. The Fed has the power to create or destroy money. By doing this, it can influence the supply of money in the economy, which can help control inflation and interest rates. Regulate banks. The Fed supervises and regulates banks to make sure they're operating safely and soundly. This helps to keep the banking system stable and prevent bank failures. Manage interest rates. The Fed can change the interest rates that banks charge each other for loans. This can help control inflation and the economy's growth. Lend money. The Fed can lend money to banks when they need it. This helps to make sure that banks age. The Federal Reserve plays a really important role in our economy and helps to keep it stable and healthy. Now let us understand how it keeps our economy healthy. This will greatly enhance your current knowledge about our economy. Ready to dive deeper? Let us understand how the Federal Reserve controls the money supply and interest rates in the economy. So imagine you have a big bucket of money, and you want to make sure there's just the right amount of money in the bucket to keep the economy healthy and growing. That's what the Federal Reserve does. There are two main tools that the Federal Reserve uses to control the money supply and interest rates, open market operations and the federal funds rate. So you might wonder, what exactly is the open market operations? Well, it's very easy to understand. Open market operations is when the Federal Reserve buys or sells government securities in order to increase or decrease the money supply. When the Federal Reserve buys securities, it increases the money supply, and when it sells securities, it decreases the money supply. Now you might say, I don't know what do you mean by government securities? Government securities are debt instruments of a sovereign government. They sell these products to finance day-to-day -day governmental operations and provide funding for special infrastructure and military projects. These investments work in much the same way as a corporate debt issue. Corporations issue bonds as a way to gain capital for buying equipment, funding expansion, and paying off other debt. By issuing debt, governments can avoid hiking taxes or cutting other areas of spending in the budget each time they need additional funds for a project. The United States is only one of many countries that issues government securities to fund operations. U.S. Treasury bills, bonds, and notes are considered risk-free assets due to their backing by the American government. Now, let's get back to the next main tool, that is, the federal funds rate. The federal funds rate is the interest rate that banks charge each other for short-term loans. When the Federal Reserve raises the federal funds rate, it makes it more expensive for banks to borrow money, which helps to slow down the economy and reduce inflation. And when the Federal Reserve lowers the federal funds rate, it makes it easier for banks to borrow money, which helps to speed up the economy and boost economic growth. So that's the basic idea behind monetary policy. It's the Federal Reserve's way of controlling the money supply and interest rates to make sure the economy is healthy and growing. Thanks for watching. If you really like this video, please share it among your friends to help them understand the role of the U.S. Federal Reserve. Subscribe to this channel if you want more of such videos. Keep learning.